I'm going to do my spaghetti squash in the microwave and in order to do that I've already rinsed it and I dried it off and then um, I am going to poke holes in it so it will breathe. Then I'm going to start at um, five minutes in the microwave. So, um, I am going to see it. You have the squash long ways. Don't cut it like that. It won't help you get all the seeds out, and you won't have the long strands of um, the, the squash in like spaghetti strings. So, basically, I'm going to cut away from me, and it should be soft by now. So, I've did it about 10 to 15 minutes in the microwave, and I had poked the holes in it and everything. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just slice it down this way, and then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to go up this way. I'm not cutting towards me because I don't want to cut myself, so I'm cutting away from myself. And then, of course, we got the stem, so I'm going to cut on the side of the stem, and I'm just going to open it very very hot. Don't burn yourself. Okay. Set that there. Now I have to hollow this out. So I'm just going to take, if you can see that, I have the, if you've never done um, spaghetti squash before, uh, you basically you're going to take the middle out and all it is is just the seeds and the in the membrane it's nothing major it's just seeds and so you just kind of just gently scrape it out it's really soft and very hot <laughs> and you just gonna you're just gonna discard that it's really easy it's very very hot though and I, I, I personally like you can either do this in the oven and you can cut it open and then just put it face down the cookie sheet or you can put it in the microwave like I did. It's just as easy. It's just really hot. Right. And then I like to take my fork. I'm gonna burn myself. Okay. So I basically just fork it. And you can spin it. And see how it just comes out in strands. And I just put it in the bowl. You can spin it as well. And that's it. And um, 
It's hollow. No, I can. It's very good. Alright, and then I'm going to discard that one. And then... I'm going to do this one. All we're doing is just hollowing it out. Very easy. If you want to save the seeds, I wouldn't save them until uh, before you cook them. Because once you cook them, then it uh, takes away from the, if you want to grow them. Takes away from the germ, germ, germination. And you know when you've got all the center out, you can tell it's not hard. See? And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop it out. And I, I cook mine probably a little too long, but it's all right. I don't mind. It's very hot. Now what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to make mine with spaghetti tonight. I've got two different versions of spaghetti. One with a penne pasta. And then the other is going to be with my zucchini squash. And I did hamburger with my sauce. And if that's something you don't want to do, then you don't have to do it that way. Make it your own. And that's it. It's empty. And then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. You can add butter if you like, if you're a butter person. It depends on what calories you're looking for. But it just comes up like spaghetti, just little noodles. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil. And then my um, spaghetti sauce is going to be sufficient. And all I'm using is just a regular garlic and onion spaghetti sauce. Okay. So. And let me just do that. Oh, that's some biscuits. Okay, and that's it. Just, uh, it just gets a little bit of oil on it just so it doesn't clump up. As you can see, I have penne noodles, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, dress them up, and that was um, about a box, of, a family sized box of penne. So I'm just using a regular 8 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce, and I'm using um, tomatoes, onions, and garlic. put one jar in, then I take my ricotta, and then depending on what you want to add, like if you want to add the whole thing or just part of it, depending on how much you like ricotta, I like it. And I'm going to add the whole, it's the um, 15 ounce ricotta. I'm going to add the whole thing. Okay. 
I'm gonna mix this in. Whoops. And I'm gonna turn this on low. I just wanna heat it. And I've already stuck a bay leaf in there. So if you see a leaf, it's a bay leaf. Yeah, see, I've already added a bay leaf in there. And we're just gonna stir it around. It makes it kind of a creamy look. So you get a little bit of a red, but a little bit of white. Now you can actually add more cheese to this. You can do um, a little bit of cream cheese, which I'm thinking about doing, and give it a little bit more rich flavor. Or you can pull back. And I'm going to add a little bit of hamburger in this. Because I'm it's about a half a pound of hamburger in this, because I'm wanting to add it to my other recipe. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. And I'm probably about a tablespoon of garlic in this. And this I'm just using granule. You can use fresh chopped, whatever you have on hand. Now I will tell you I will add a little olive oil to this. This has got a little bit of olive oil in it as well. Can never have enough olive oil. It's about two tablespoons. Just, I don't want to add too much salt to it because um, the tomato sauce that's in here, they add quite a bit, but I do want to add just a tad for flavor. And I've got the Himalayan salt, so I have it on fine. I just do a couple, not a tablespoon or so. It's very salty tasting, so I don't want to add a lot. And then just got a little onion powder. And I'm probably just going to add just probably about a tablespoon. You don't have to add it if you don't want it. It's all in your own preference. And then I'm going to add just a tad of Italian seasoning for just a little bit of color. And where's that? Italian seasoning. Just a tad. That's probably about a teaspoon. Don't want to make it too too leafy. Too leafy. And uh where it's over. <laughs> I won't be able to eat it. If you want to add a little pepper to it, you can. Okay. I think it's time for a taste. Yum yums. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, very good. I am gonna add some cream cheese to it though. Okay, so it's about I have a tablespoon, about half, about two tablespoons worth of cream cheese in it. And I'm using the uh, whipped. My grandmother used to do all this stuff all the time. And, uh, I think it's called zocotto. One pot dish or something like that. It's Italian. But don't quote me on that because I don't remember. Alright. So you have a fresh spoon. And taste. Gonna touch it. I'm just gonna. This is basic. So, okay. So we're doing one can of spaghetti sauce. I'm just 
warming it up. I mean, we're, it's nothing fancy. You can do this in the microwave. And all I'm going to add is my half a pound of ground beef that I had from the other recipe. Make it a tie in night. So we're just going to stir it, nothing fancy, we're just going to help the sauce out. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to it, olive oil is good for the body. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic, probably about a tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you want, and just a tad of Italian seasoning. That's it. Okay, and we're just heating it up. That's all we're doing. Cut it on low. You don't want it to splatter. Okay, and then that's it. And then we'll get ready to serve. And then I've made some 